Hi, I'm Andreas and I will explain how different concentrated solar power systems work. Concentrated solar power or CSP concentrates energy from the sun's rays to heat a thermal receiver suitable to hold high temperatures. Unlike a photovoltaic system where sunlight is converted to electricity, the thermal receiver converts sunlight to heat where it will be transported to steam generator to convert it to electricity. Concentrated solar power has been in operation for some time and is a proven solar energy technology. It is, no, it is not as marketable and simple as PV modules, but the government of the United States and Spain supported the technology to respond to the global crisis. CSP are mostly used by large power grid companies as it can collect and generate more electricity than PV panels. There are four current CSP technologies categorized in their ability to focus the sun's rays and receive the sun's energy. Parabolic throughs, uh, parabolic troughs, parabolic dishes, linear Fresnel collectors and towers or CRS. Parabolic troughs consist of two parallel lines of mirror or reflector curved in a single direction to focus the sun's energy to a fluid carrying receiver placed in the heart of the curved trough mirror. The sun's energy heat uh, the sun's energy heat the fluid inside the tube and generated heat energy is used to generate electricity using a gym engine or generator. The tubes or absorber collectors are generally made of stainless steel and coated with a selective coating. Both the reflector and absorber collector move with the sun as it crosses the sky. This ensures the, that the sun is continually focused on the receiver. Parallel lines of parabolic troughs are called collector fields. Parabolic troughs, trough plants are hybrid. When there is inefficient sunlight, the plants burn natural gas, coal or fuel to meet load requirements. Parabolic dish Plants use dish mirrors to concentrate sunlight and focus it to a thermal receiver. Unlike parabolic troughs, parabolic dishes are standalone units, which are composed of a collector, thermal receiver, and an engine. The entire unit tracks the sun all throughout the day. The engine el uh, eliminates the need for heat transfer fluid and cooling water. Instead, the engine or generator is air cooled. Parabolic, uh, parabolic, dishes usually, uh, parabolic dish uses dual axis collectors, allowing it to capture maximum amount of sunlight during the day. Compared to other CSP technologies, parabolic dishes offer the highest solar energy to electricity conversion as it can achieve extremely high temperatures and high efficiencies. One of the drawbacks of small parabolic dishes is it does not work well with thermal storage. The converted electricity must be fed immediately to solar grids. However, very large parabolic dishes are found to be more compatible with thermal storage and natural gas backup. Manufacturers as well as promoters see huge parabolic dishes to compete with large solar thermal plants in the future. Linear Fresnel reflectors are much like parabolic troughs as they use a single axis collector and a fluid carrying receiver. However, Linear Fresnel collectors are made of long rows of ground mounted mirrors or reflectors to concentrate the sun's rays. The thermal receiver is elevated and fixed atop uh, the reflectors. 
Although the design has lower efficiency than parabolic troughs, it requires less land and is also more inexpensive than troughs. The current designs of LFRs made possible direct steam generation by allowing water to be fed directly on the thermal receiver and be boiled at about 50 bars of atmospheric pressure. The saturated steam produced is used to power a steam cycle. LFRs produce lower optical efficiency compared to, uh, to troughs and are lowering compatibili compatibility with uh, thermal storage. Power towers, also known as central receiver systems, employ thousands of field tracking reflectors, heliostats, to collect sun's radiation. The reflectors are mounted atop a fixed tower. Sunlight is absorbed by molten salt or pressurized water, working the fluid uh, f flowing through the receiver and serving as thermal storage as well. Power towers surpass the operating temperature of parabolic troughs and linear Fresnel reflectors, but not parabolic dishes. Power tower design offers more flexibility as designers can choose a wide a wide array of heliostats, thermal storage, power blocks and transfer fluids. This CSP technology has more potential for lower operating costs than line focused technologies like parabolic troughs or LFRs. Thank you for watching this introduction on concentrated solar power. More information on solar energy can be found on solarpanelsbrisbane.info